Open data is the idea that some data should be freely available to everyone to use and republish as they wish, without restriction from copyright, patents, or other mechanisms of control. So open data, the, the, the definition of open data goes really well with open source, with open content, with the culture, with the philosophy of, of Blender. So Blender is open source. We made movies that are open uh, content, like public domain, so uh, textures from the cloud, the, the, everything we make, it's open. So there was one part that was missing is, is the data, it's like actual uh, numbers from Blender usage, from, um, from if, yeah, everything around Blender itself and its usage and the community and what is actually, uh, who is using Blender and with, with how are they using it. So. As of today, Blender is introducing open data. Blender open data is free and open data for everyone. So why is this important? Well, it's basically a, a benchmark. It's the official Blender benchmark. So it's a, um, it's a version, a very stripped down version of Blender that will run Blender and we'll run a number of, of tests on your computer so you can um, know how it performs. But you can also, like the most important part, um, you can run it on yourself locally on your computer. So it's just to see how it compares. If you have two computers and want to run uh, this benchmark just to see how fast the, the computer is, you can do it. But the most, uh, uh, like the most fun part is to actually share this data with the world. So now there is a platform for doing it. It's, it lives in opendata.blender.org. It's completely open for everyone. You can download the benchmark. It's available for all three platforms, just like Blender is around 500 megs uh, it, because it contains Blender, it contains all the files, it contains everything for the benchmark. So once you download it, um, you can uh, run it just like any other Blender version. So you just double click, depends on the platform you are. And you will be greeted with this very nice artwork by Aidy and Gleb Alexandrov from the Space uh, VFX. So uh, once you run it, you uh, you will see the nice little message here. You have CPU. You can choose your compute device, and then you can just run a quick benchmark. This is a, it, it, I bet this is the one that most people will run. Usually, it takes around thirty minutes. Uh, so for the for the demo, I did a quick uh, I did a quick um, uh, modification, so just to show you that this is the benchmark. So you can see which benchmark is running right now. It's uh, This one is the BMW, the famous one. It is a classroom. You have your information, so your graphics cards, your CPU, a progress bar that tells you uh, how far are you. You can always stop at any time the benchmark, and then you get your time results. So with this, that's enough. This is all that you need. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have, <laughs> I shouldn't be recording videos as I'm doing it, so all the resources go to it. But this will give me an idea. So yeah, share your results with the world. Manage the uploaded benchmark data on your Blender ID. So when you uh, make a, um, a benchmark, like as of now, no data has left, uh, has left my computer. This is all locally. I can save these files locally. I can put them. Uh, so where did I save this? For example, I can put the benchmark here. It's a text file. You can see it. If you open the file, you will see the actual data, the Blender version, which CPU you have, the number of threads, the, the scenes that were rendered in this case, how long they took, and the system information, which is like the CPU, GPU, um, the distribution name if you're on Linux, Debian, CPU core, system, timestamp. That is all, there is no personal um, data. In the future, the idea is that at least your Blender ID uh, should, be, uh, should be kept uh, at least if you want, is an option. If you want to uh, like go to another computer and save your, um, your settings online. So if you wanna do that, you can. Uh, you can click on share online and this will open a browser and it will send you to the public link of this uh, specific um, um, benchmark. So you can see here, you can even search if you want to see like BMW and you can see the BMW results. 
And if you want to see your data, the benchmarks that you did, you can click on your data or just go to your Blender ID. There is this new tab called My Data. And here you will see the benchmark that I run. It's the number 1906. And I ran it at 10, uh, at, yeah, just a while ago. And here you can see it. This, this link I can share it with the world. I can do whatever I want. But in case I don't want to, I want to keep it all for myself, I can always just click and delete. Once you delete it, it's gone forever. It like never existed. And this is your, um, yeah, this is your portal without any data. So this is how it works at the, at the moment. Um, the applications, the login applications, you can also revoke the access anytime, just works just like any other application that uses the Blender ID. So it's all super transparent. This is this is like the goal of this is to be transparent, to be uh, to to show exactly what it's done with the with the data, with is just basically render times. And I think it's really good for the community in on one side because it shows how big Blender is, like how many people are actually running the bench the benchmark, how many. Um, um, See what, what are the CPUs that people are using or GPU. Um, for example, in this case, the Ryzen Threadripper is actually really <laughs> kicking uh, the Intel ones. For example, all of these tests are the ones that we run locally here at the Blender Institute so far, but most of them. Uh, I think now, by now, people have been running their own tests, uh, benchmarks, so you can have a bit more information. But <laughs> as you can see, it's all Linux because we run Linux here in the um, Blender Studio, but as more people start submitting, there will be more windows. So yeah, this is a, a very short list of, of the um, benchmarks that we ran so far, but this is a beta. So the benchmarks, well, there will be more benchmarks here. You can get in touch, you can read more about it, like how does it work, where is, where is my data. Well, everything is open source as always, of course. So you can, you, yeah, it's just uh, very transparent. You can see everything that is done. You can get the client. You can see the, the, the client is a branch of Blender 2.8, um, but it's actually running the benchmark with Blender 2.79 for now. So because 2.79 is stable, it wouldn't make sense to make a benchmark with a alpha software like Blender 2.8. So actually when you run um, when you run the benchmark, what you see here, tiny, this is <laughs> 2.8 alpha running beta software, which is a benchmark on stable, which is 2.79. So yes, this is uh, fantastic. I think this is great. It's a great announcement that will happen, um, that just happened now. And uh, now that SIGGRAPH is next week is really, really important because then you can actually go and show the company, show like, hey, I'm, uh, Intel, your computer is not doing as good as uh, the Ryzen, it seems. So what if you invest more on that, for example, or the CUDA or CPU, OpenCL, or imagine in the future, you could see like in Blender 279, the GPU, the GTX was doing this well, but actually in the 2.80 is slower. And then you can see for developers, it's also very useful. So uh, for testing software, for testing, um, Hardware is also very useful. So there is so much potential in this. This is just a uh, beta release. So expect a lot more. There is a few sections that they're, they're work in progress. For example, verified results is a page where the um, benchmarks that we can actually sign as official, officially proven to be like, like official results. For example, the ones that we run here at the Blender Institute, where we know their servers, they are uh, they are nothing, running nothing else. You know, like it's an organization that backs up that data and the raw data, which also will be available for download soon. But we wanted just to share this, which is amazing. It's a very first step, but there is nothing like this in the market. All oh, everybody uh, usually the um, the data is it's. Like you never get full access to all of the data that, uh, especially when it's CG computers and everything. So yes, it's a good first step towards making the information available for everyone using Blender. And, and in the future, when people ask, which computer should I buy? Well, just go to the benchmark and then you can see it here. So 
expect more awesomeness in here. That is all for, for today. There has been a lot of things happening on the Blender 2.8. The Grease Pencil was added. Um, it's way more stable right now. There's fixes all over the place, especially in Eevee. There's a lot of optimizations going on there. So expect more videos soon, but I just wanted to announce this to the world to show it. So please do go to opendata.blender.org download the benchmark and run it. Let's let's uh, populate this database, this open data that is available for everyone. No copyright, no nothing, no, none of that bull. It's all uh, for the greater good. This will be available forever. It's on hosted on blender.org uh, servers. So it's we know it's gonna stay there as the rest of Blender. So have a nice weekend you, and uh, I will see you again in the next uh, B the Oh, ciao.